Look alive, look alive, look alive, look alive, everybody. Hey, I'm here. I'm not going to be here long. I'm just popping in. Um, I did a harvest at Anita's house. Y'all know she has that beautiful acre of land right here in the city. Um, you don't have to have 10 acres of land to harvest and forage and get good herbs that are healthy for your body and make you feel good. Um, that's not necessary. A good friend of mine has one acre right here in the middle of the city with nice, clean, good herbs that are Dr. Sabi approved. And she's got all the other stuff too. So anything you need, um, you can get in the city. Now I'm going to just go through a couple things quickly, quickly, quickly. It's Saturday and I've got a lot going on. Um, so boom, we've got some mint. This is orange mint and chocolate it's orange and chocolate so you can see that if for all of you who are doing plant identification you might want to be screenshotting this because i'm not gonna do this again love y'all <laughs> but not doing this again um there chocolate orange mint i've shown you guys time a lot but this is what it looks like when it's in the flowering stage, okay? It's thyme, which is one of the most important herbs that anyone could ever know about, y'all. You've got to learn about thyme. T-H-Y-M-E. T-H-Y-M-E. Thyme. Y'all see them flowers? Look, hold on. I'm going to try to be still. There. You see it? Get your screenshots in because I don't know how long this is going to last. Hold on. There. Get your screenshots in. If you need to get your screenshots in, get them in. This is time. I talk about this a lot. You need it in your system. Don't front on time. Okay? The reason why it looks different than the last time I showed you guys is because it's springtime. And when I harvested this last, it was in the fall after summer. In the spring, you can see the flowers. But remember, we are practicing holistic living, which means you need the flower. You need the leaf. You need the bud. You need the seed. You need the stem. You need the root. You need it all. Holistic. Here we go. Now, this is just um, either some Creeping Charlie or some Violet that I got stuck in there. Creeping Charlie, actually. that's that's This is uh, Creeping Charlie, y'all. Some was in there, but this is what Creeping Charlie looks like. Okay, don't get it mixed up with Violet. I'm going to show you some Violet in a second. Creeping Charlie, it grows like a vine. Violet grows up on a stem, straight up in the air. Creeping Charlie grows on a vine, but they look very similar. Don't get that mixed up. Okay, but here's our thyme. Concord grape leaf. This is how you make your doma. For all my doma fans, I know I got people out there that love domas. I made domas a couple years ago that were really, really good, and it was an experiment. But this is what your doma looks like, guys. You want to get your Concord grape leaf. Um, You can use wild grape leaf. We have wild grapes here. They're called fox grapes. We've got wild grapes here in the mountain, and we have Concord. This is Concord you can make your domas with it. It's alkaline. It's a seeded grape. These grapes have seeds. They're seeded. They're very good for you. Hey, Sabians. Y'all know us Sabians love our rue. This is rue. I have been waiting a couple years. And Anita, my good friend that I told you guys about, has a plot of rue that she has taken very good care of. So this is what it looks like, y'all. Um, there you go. If you're doing plant identification, now is the time to do your screenshot. Anyone who's in my class, do your screenshots now. Rue has a yellow flower. Hold on. Here, can y'all see that? This is Rue. Now, the one I really want you to look at is right there. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. There, you see it? Little green bud. Lots and lots of yellow. I'm trying to get close.
there. Plant identification, people. If you need to screenshot, screenshot. This is Rue. If you need to screenshot, screenshot now. This is Rue. I know it's hard to keep steady, y'all. This is Rue. Plant identification video. This is Rue. This is what time looks like when it's in the flowering stage. This is your Concord grape leaf for your Doma. Now, oh, all right, y'all, let's talk about this baby here for everybody. A lot of you already know what this is. If you're in my class, you better know what this is. It's your basil, y'all. This is basil. Okay. If you're doing plant identification, please go ahead and take your screenshots now. Basil. You can see the silver underleaf with the fuzzy gray on it on the stem. You can actually see it really good on that one. This is what basil should look like when you're cooking with it, guys. <laughs> See that? Very soft, very light. Basil. Now, all right. Lemon balm. We're not going to talk much about the lemon balm because everybody knows the lemon balm. This one you guys are very familiar with. Okay, if you're going to do your screenshots, do your screenshots, please. Here we go. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys what this looks like out there. Some of you are probably saying it all looks the same. It really doesn't. Just take a peek. It looks very different if you pay attention. Lemon balm, y'all. This is lemon balm. There you go. Plant ID, people. Now is the time to take your screenshots for the lemon balm. Very good. All right. So we did the basil. We did the lemon balm, which is in the dehydrator. We did the grape leaf. Let me get this clean. Grape leaf, rue, thyme, uh, the orange chocolate mint. All right, Violet. Now, I told you guys, careful, because Creeping Charlie looks like Violet, but they're not the same. And now I can show you what I mean. Here's Violet. Violet looks very small when y'all see it. Because you're probably seeing the really tiny ones that are out in the grass beside the clovers. But this is what it looks like if you let it grow to its full potential, okay? Typically, they're very, very small. Um, let me see if I can, if I got a tiny one in here for you. Here we go. Wait, yeah, maybe, yeah, okay. Usually, they're like that small or actually smaller. But when you let them be and you're not bothering them, they get very large and they're very beautiful and as you can see you can eat them mmm this is Janus too that's good now I need to stop eating them because I'm supposed to be drying them. But they're good. Mm. Eat your medicine. Okay? Let your food be that medicine.
Yeah. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Damn, it tastes good. Go and pick them, wash them, eat them. Let your food be that medicine. Let that medicine be that food. So, and this is what you just saw me chewing on because it's very, very, very good. Now, next. Blackberry leaves and honeysuckle. Okay. In our valley, we get this beautiful thing here called honeysuckle. Everybody should be familiar with this if you're in the States. You guys know the honeysuckle. Okay. Typically, as you all know, you pick the flower, you pull the green stem out, and suck the honey. But these flowers and these leaves are also very, very medicinal. So, you, you know, use it. You make tea. It's good for the body. The leaves used to be used a long time ago for a lot of health issues. Um, look into that. We use them in my house. They're good. This is your blackberry leaf, y'all. Look at this. It's thorny, so be careful. Blackberry leaf. You heard me? This is good medicine, y'all. Blackberries are good medicine in general. But when you get the leaf, that's also really good medicine. So one thing that you want to do, because blackberries and um, uh, honeysuckle love one another. So you get your blackberry leaf, and this is what it looks like. Don't get this mistaken with poison oak, y'all. Uh, you heard me? Do not get this mistaken with poison oak if this is poison oak i would have been broke out by now because i harvested these last uh yesterday afternoon but look you see okay so you know you're gonna do this and you have your honeysuckle and together it makes a really good tea so i've got elderberry here this is what elderberry looks like y'all anita has got a beautiful elderberry tree in her land it's huge this is what the leaves look like. Okay. This stick I've actually got because I'm going to put it in the ground. And I am going to create another elderberry. So that's what I'm doing with this. And I've got the leaves in there because I'm going to make some tea with that. Okay. So you guys see your violet, elderberry leaf and flower, blackberry, honeysuckle, basil, grape leaf, rue, sabians, this is our rue, thyme, orange chocolate mint, lemon balm. And that was our harvest from Anita's that I'm going to go get some Colt's foot and try to grow it um, in the plot. So you guys stay tuned. Um, I'm out of here. As you can see, I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, one more thing I'm going to show you guys. We got some Smilex, which is your Sarsaspidia. We got some leaves here from the briar. Okay. So, we've definitely got a beautiful harvest of briar, which is Smilax. Y'all, there is a lot of different kinds of Sarsaspidia. Please be sure that you're doing your research. When they are babies, they look like this. Okay, this is the baby. You see that color? Very, very different than the grown one. Yes. Know your plants, y'all. Get into your plant identification, okay? These beautiful tendrils. This is the briar. You see them tendrils? It's briar. It's our saspidia. It's good stuff. It's good medicine for you. So, lemon balm. Briar, which is a sar saspidia smilax. Violet. Basil. Blackberry leaf, honeysuckle, elderberry, concord grape leaf, rue. Do not forget your rue. That is vital to your life. Thyme, mint, 
Now there's lots of herbs that are in the mint family, y'all. Lots of herbs that are in the mint family. Some are not good, some are good. So be sure that you do your research. I love y'all. I'm not gonna be on here for long. I'm actually signing off right now. I'm Lizzie B. Gold with Lizzie's Alkaline Kitchen. Also Lady of the Tree. Um, you guys know me by so many different things here. Um, Sabian Journeys LLC, Lizzie's Alkaline Kitchen, Lady of the Tree, Lizzie B. Gold. If you need anything, please let me know. If you need information, please let me know. I'm here and ready to help you. Um, long gong. We're going to tell you guys. This is the Rambutan Long Gong Leaf. I don't know if you... Yeah, y'all can't see that. There you go. Long Gong Leaf. It's sitting on top of mullen. That mullen is good. This is some burdock root. Freshly dried... Freshly prepared burdock root. Um, if you guys need any of that, let me know because I'm going to get rid of about half of it. So if you need some burdock root, let me know. Inbox me or order it on the website. If you guys want to know what that is going to look like when it's dry, boom. Full leaf. This was from 2020 in the fall. See? Now you can see they're all very, very big and green. And in the springtime is when you will get your red tendrils, two different kinds of medicine, y'all. Okay. All right. So you've seen the long gone leaf, the mullen, the burdock, the dried smilax, the wet smilax, and all of our herbs. I love you guys. Peace, blessings, and healing today. Namaste today. It's a beautiful day outside here in the Blue Ridge Valley. Um, we're manifesting today. Don't forget to put the bird feeders out. They'll, you know, it'll definitely help your summer, I promise. Put the bird feeders out, y'all. Do your water hauls. I'm actually getting ready to clean out all my glass bottles for water hauls. If you don't have any, go to thedollartree.com. And order your glass bottles. They're a dollar a piece. You can get three boxes of glass bottles. Two, four, six, eight. Which is close to 80 bottles. And, um, what, two, four, six, seven. It's 72 bottles that you will get, um, for about 75 bucks. So, get your bottles and start doing your water hauls. Um, that's it. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get the colt's foot and show you guys the colt's foot. When I get the elderberry planted, I'll show you guys how that roots. Other than that, I am signing off. Thank you so much for being here. It's a beautiful Saturday. Um, no, Adietana is not here. She's with her grandma, y'all. Um, but I love you. Peace, blessings, namaste, healing, 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 herbs, water, 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 a gallon a day, six glasses a day. Burdock, yellow dock, sarsaspidia. Get these herbs in you quickly. They're important. Bromide, that's red and brown algae, conjus crispus, and bladderwrack. You need that. Get that into your system. So many more. I'm not going to sit and bother you guys with it, but if you need anything, let me know. And I love you, love you, love you. I love you, Rachel. You're the best. You've been with me for so long, and I really love you so much. Tell mom I said I love her. Give her a big, big hug. Oh, by the way, Aurora, the white clovers are in full bloom. And I saw some red clover yesterday. So in about two, three weeks, we'll say a month to be safe. We should be full bloom red clover. And I'm getting your harvest ready to ship to you. Um, you know, I love you. Um, just, you know, we're waiting on the, the seasons here, but your harvest is almost ready to do. Um, I don't think anyone else is waiting on anything. Oh, Jasmine, we're going to see each other this weekend. I love you, love you, love you. We're going to see each other this weekend. Um, Share Bear. Last week. I know it's been a week already, but I'm going to call you. I love you so much. Please forgive me. I promise I haven't spoken to nobody else because I'm waiting to talk to you. <laughs>
I love you guys. Peace and blessings always. I'm signing off Lizzie B. Gold from Lizzie's Alkaline Kitchen, Sebian Journeys, and Lady of the Tree.